In the following video, you will learn how to control and adjust the normals of 2D elements. To be able to check and adjust the normals of the 2D elements, we need to bring up the Check Element panel. To do this, start by choosing the Mesh option from the toolbar. Now choose the Normals option. We want to select the elements of interest. Here we are going to select the displayed elements via the Extended Selection menu. You may display the element normals as a colored contour plot, or via normal vectors. Personally, I find the vector option extremely helpful while dealing with, for instance very small elements. Here the contour plot makes it difficult to review local element information. This can't happen if the normals are displayed as vectors. In order to plot the element normals, just click on the button, Display Normals. The red color indicates the positive direction of the element normals. In other words, that is the top side of the elements, whereas the base of the elements is marked in the blue color. Let's rotate the model to view its base. Clearly, you have noticed the single blue colored element. In this example, we want to adjust the normals of all other elements to coincide with the reference element. In the first step, we reset the current selection. Then we need to activate the panel titled Orientation. In order to activate the Orientation panel, we need to click on it. Now as the Orientation panel is active, we specify the reference element just by clicking on it. In the final step we need to define which elements we wish to adjust. In here we select, Displayed. And now, adjust the selected elements according to the orientation of the reference element. As you can see, the former top side of the elements has been converted to be the base of the element. That is all you need to know about checking element normals. Isn't it easy?